Welcome to Budget Beauty, where I help you look flawless for less. Welcome back and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Budget Beauty. We do everything beauty on a budget and that includes empties. Every month I share with you my empties. This month we're overflowing. I went through a lot of products this month. I'm going to give you a quick speed review, let you know whether I would repurchase, and I'm always grateful that I go through a full basket almost every single month. So if you're excited for another empties, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because I do an empties every month and I upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. I do link all of the products down below for you if you're interested in purchasing any of them. All of the links will be in the description box along with my favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to recreate this look. And don't forget, come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. So I have a full real full basket of empties. Let's jump in. So like I said, I'm going to give you a speed review and everything will be linked down below. So first, we're going to start with the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. This is my all-time favorite hairspray. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've already repurchased it. I have a fresh one in my vanity. I love how much hold this gives without any of the crusty flaky that you can get from an extra stronghold hairspray. I just buy mine on Ulta's website and there's usually sales or you can use Ulta coupons. I love this. I cannot recommend it enough. And then I finished up a lotion. I actually received this in a subscription box. This is from the brand Velvet Luxe and this is the Tangerine Glow Lotion. It smells really good, very fresh, very fruity. I like this lotion a lot. I found that it was hydrating and I really enjoyed the scent of it. I don't know the price point of this, so I don't know if I would repurchase this or not. I don't think it's a standout lotion, but it's a good it's a good lotion with a great scent. And then I have this fun candy cane foaming scrub. Now I actually bought this in Yuma, Arizona. I live in Arizona. I went to Yuma for a little day trip and I went to a little local soap store and found this. Oh my gosh, this is my candy cane dreams come true. It's so pepperminty and when you use it, it not only exfoliates but it foams up and it leaves a little bit of a tingle from the peppermint oil. I don't know if you can order from this little soap company online, but I, if you can't, I will link it down below and I'm definitely going to order another one of these. I love it. I love the smell. I love how it foams. I had so much fun using this and was really bummed out when it was gone. I also finished my favorite perfume. This is the Lancome La Vie A Belle and I always buy the big, 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 big one of it, the 3.4 ounce because I love it. It's my favorite fragrance. I've been using it for years. I've already repurchased it. Whenever it's on sale at Ulta, I buy the big one. It's not inexpensive, but it's not super expensive. It's kind of in the middle, and I just love the fragrance, the notes. Every time I wear this, I get a million compliments, and this is probably the third big bottle that I've went through. Speaking of big bottles, I finished up the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner, all-time favorite makeup brush cleaner. Your brushes dry instantly, instantly, like you can use them 10 seconds later, and it gets every bit of makeup out of your brushes. I love, love, love this. I've rebought this over and over again. In fact, I ordered three of these during the Sephora sale. If you're looking for a good makeup brush cleaner that works, get the Cinema Secrets. It's truly the best. Also from the brand Bold Unique, I finished up their hair mask. This is the Purple Hair Mask. This is a great product. You can see that it's purple in color and it's great for blonde hair. This one's going to really bring out any gray or iciness to your blonde. So if you're someone that has gray hair or icy blonde highlights or icy blonde hair, you're going to love this. Super affordable as well. I love the Amica Bust Your Brass. That's the one I'm currently using. I kind of switch back and forth between the two, but I have repurchased this. I have a new one in my backups. Facial Cleanser Down. This is from the brand Naturum. This actually came in an AIA beauty box. This is the Niacinamide Cleansing Gel A. I liked this. I loved the pump top. I prefer that for cleanser. And this took my makeup off really well. Didn't really have much of a scent, but I'm a double cleanser. I use a makeup removing balm and then a cleanser to follow up. And I enjoyed this one and I would absolutely repurchase. I've got some lashes per usual. So from Lashy Box, I have the Poppy Lashes. I really, really, really love these. And then my 
Ioni lashes from the Dollar Tree. You guys already know, these are my favorite. If you can find the Ioni lashes at your Dollar Tree, grab them. These are some of the best lashes. And then from Lashy Box, I also used the Straight Up lashes. Now I wear these anywhere from like three to five times and then I consider them used when there's just too much glue on the band or they just lose their shape. I also did a little self-care with a fun little holiday themed sheet mask. This is from The Creme Shop. This is the Tis the Season to Be Lovely Collagen and Squalene Face Mask. I really like this sheet mask. It was great. It added a lot of hydration to my skin and kind of gave me all the holiday vibes. From e.l.f., the HD Powder in Luminescence. I have like six of these in backup. This is the powder I use to set my under eye. It is the only one that does not settle into fine lines and wrinkles. I swear by this. It's a $6 powder and it adds the perfect lumine luminescence under the eyes, sets your under eye concealer, no creasing, no settling, obsessed. I mean, obsessed with this powder. One of my favorite makeup products ever. From the brand Shades by Shan, which is an indie brand, I finished their setting spray. This is the setting spray. That's original. This was fine. It was a setting spray. I used it up. I liked it. It set my makeup. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. I have some other setting sprays that are my go-tos, but I enjoyed it and used it up. As always, finished up a dossier fragrance. I use one up at least one every month. This is Powdery Coconut. Smells really good, kind of fresh, kind of powdery. I love Dossier. It's an affordable company that replicates high-end perfumes and they're $29 to $39 before any discounts and there's always discounts on their website. So I usually pick up one to two new fragrances every month and like I said, I go through one to two every month. From Urban Decay, I use the Stay Naked Foundation. I've had this in my collection for so long I needed to use it up. I have the shade 30WY. It does have a pump top and honestly, I enjoyed this foundation. I don't love Urban Decay. It's not one of my favorite brands. I don't own a lot from them. This probably came in a subscription box, but I actually liked this. I felt like it added the right amount of coverage, no crustiness, no settling. Really enjoyed this and I would definitely buy it again. Another foundation I finished is from KVD. This is the Good Apple Foundation. I have mine in medium 054. I love the Good Apple Foundation. I have that on today, so I've already repurchased this. I actually bought two of these during the Ulta 20 days of beauty because they were on a crazy sale. This is such a great foundation for a medium to full coverage if you have dry or normal skin. If you have oily skin, I probably wouldn't recommend, but if you have normal to dry, it is such an amazing foundation. Like I said, it's the one that I'm wearing today. I will forever have this foundation on hand. Two more lashes, another one from Lashy Box. This is the Cutie Lashes, so fun. And then this lash is from my big Amazon pack. I love my Amazon pack. I think you get 30 lashes for less than $20 and like six different styles. Such great quality too, highly recommend those. I used up a serum from the brand Studio Makeup. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum. So I use this as my morning serum. I really like this. I felt like it added a lot of hydration to my skin, layered really nicely under makeup. That's kind of how I judge my morning skincare is how does it layer under makeup. This definitely gave me just the right hydration, but it sunk into the skin really well. Didn't leave it oily or wet. A little dry shampoo from the brand Maria Nila. Maria Nila. This is the Invisidry shampoo. I actually took this with me on my trip to New York. It was fine. It was a dry shampoo. I don't know really anything about this brand or the cost of this. It wasn't revolutionary. I'm not running to repurchase this. Was it a good dry shampoo? Sure. Will I repurchase? I don't know. Depends on the price. Now, these two are in my empties because I'm over them. These are the Alley Oop little stacks that have a cream bronzer, cream blush, cream highlighter, I don't love these. I have two of them. They came in my subscription boxes. They're already starting to dry up and I've only used them a couple of times. Actually, actually, as you can see, hit pan on that bronzer. I'm just over them. I don't think they're that great of a product. I didn't even take these when I went to New York, which is why I kept these. So these are officially going in the trash in the empties. From Neutrogena, I used the Makeup Removing Balm. This one, if I remember, yeah, I don't like the smell of it. It has a weird smell. It actually reminds me of like used kitchen grease. It doesn't really have the best smell to it. Did it remove my makeup? Yes, but I wouldn't repurchase it. There's a lot of other makeup melting balms I like better and I just can't get past the weird smell of it. From Juvia's Place, I actually used up a lip balm. So this is just a pink tinted balm. 
It does kind of have a weird kind of berry floral smell to it. I did actually like it and it's Julia's Place so it's affordable. I will say I went through this rather quickly. You don't get a lot of the product but it was fine. I probably wouldn't repurchase though. Another serum is from Earth Harbor. This is the Nebula Serum. Let's just talk about the packaging. I love the Earth Harbor packaging. This is a clarity serum. This was my afternoon skincare. I usually have a morning skincare, a late afternoon skincare. I usually wash my makeup off around dinner time, and then I have a nighttime routine that I do right before bed. So I have a kind of a three-step skincare, and this was in the middle, and I really like this. I love the Earth Harbor products in general. I would definitely buy this again. Here's another serum I've actually repurchased myself and finished up again. This is from Dermalac. This is the Self Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. I love it. It smells like maple syrup. It smells so good. It smells so good, and this is a skin repair serum. It's my nighttime serum. I love, love, Love it. I love it. I feel like when I wake up in the morning, my skin looks amazing. Yes, I will buy this again. I've already bought this again. You can sometimes find this in like Ipsy and Boxy pop-ups. Highly recommend. The recipe, I finally finished their Plum Plump Serum. I apply one of these Glow Recipe serums to my skin every morning right before I apply my makeup. Right now I'm using the Watermelon Niacinamide Drops, but I finished up the Plum Plump. Love it. Love Glow Recipe. One of my favorite, favorite skincare brands absolutely would repurchase. From e.l.f., I finished up the Charlotte Tilbury Dupe. This is their Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have mine in medium. I love this. It actually has the same doe foot as Charlotte Tilbury. It's pretty similar, and there's a much better shade range, and I want to say it's like $14 versus $40 something dollars. I really like this. I apply it under my foundation to give me that pretty glow from within. I have actually already bought a new one. A lotion from the brand Hemp's. I took this to New York with me. This is the Sweet Pineapple in Honey Melon. It smells really good. It's summery. I actually took this to Hawaii during the summer and then finished it up on my trip to New York. I do really enjoy the Hems brand and would buy again. I have lots of little sample things I used up on my trip to New York. So starting first with the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Primer. I really, really like this primer. It smells like coconuts. It's a hydrating primer, which I appreciate. I really really like it. Honestly, I was pleasantly surprised at how much I like it, and I'm definitely planning on purchasing the full size. And then I use the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. This took me forever to use up. I took this to Hawaii, took this to New York, finally finished it. Love it. Love it for the daytime because it adds a glow to your skin. If you don't wear makeup or you want a glowy skin with no makeup on, Highly recommend. It even comes through under makeup. Love, love, love. And then I finished up the Tula Brightening Drops. I didn't really notice a huge difference with these. I feel like they added some brightening and hydration to my skin. They were fine. I probably would buy them again, but I'm not running to purchase them today. And then from Peter Thomas, Peter Thomas Roth, I used the Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. Really like this. It foamed up really, really well. Has a good kind of fresh citrusy smell to it. Really enjoyed this cleanser. And then from Dermalogica, I have the Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50 Serum. So I applied this to my skin in the morning for a little bit extra SPF. Really enjoyed it. Two more little babies that I used up on my trip. One is Bare, Minim Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. This one didn't love it. Would much, much, much rather use the Tarte one. And then from Peach and Lily, I have the Pure Peach Retinol Eye Cream. Loved this eye cream. Lots of hydration. Really helped keeping my makeup from settling into my fine lines. Really like this. And I know Peach and Lily's affordable, so I would definitely buy this again. From the Sephora brand, I used up one of their little lotions. This is the Coconut Hand Balm. I actually kept this in my car. It smells so good. It smells like creamy coconut. It was a great hand lotion. I didn't even know that Sephora brand made such a great hand cream, but I would definitely repurchase this. Another used up lip product. This is in the shade Pink Cruise, and this is from Makey Make Beauty. This was a lip oil. Smells really good. It has kind of a fruity smell. It was fine. I, it's not my favorite lip oil formula, and I went through this also very quickly. I don't know if I just use a lot of it or if there's not much in the pro the container, but I probably wouldn't buy this again because I have other lip oils that I like much better. This lip oil I used up as well from Cab Cosmetics. Cab Cosmetics makes great lip oil. This was their lemon one. 
smells so good. It came out during the summer. This lip oil I like much better than this one, and this one lasts for ever, ever, ever. I'm actually using the lime one right now, so I would definitely repurchase. Finished up the eyelash glue from AOA. This is like dollar eyelash glue. AOA is a really affordable makeup brand. This is the Super Strip Lash Adhesive. I loved this. I had mine in black. I much prefer eyelash glue that's in dark so that you can't see it on the band. Love, love, love this. Next time I order off AOA, I'll be purchasing a few more. Also finished the Lily Lashes Level Up Eyelash Serum. I don't know that this is available anymore. I think I bought this in a boxy pop-up. I really, really like this though. I will link the Grande lashes down below for you in the lash food. I like those two as well. This was great. I have been using an eyelash serum now religiously for about a year and I've noticed a big difference in my lashes. I do have one more of these on hand. So if it's not available anymore, I already have a backup. Out of my NYX advent calendar, I used up their setting spray. This is the Dewy Finish setting spray. I liked this. I liked Love a good dewy, glowy finish, so I would definitely buy the full size. From she Glam, I finished the eyebrow pencil. So one end of this is a roll-up brow pencil, totally gone, and the other end is a brush tip if you want to draw in the brush-like hair-like strokes. She Glam is Shein's makeup line, super affordable. I really liked this. I would buy this again if I was ordering from the She Glam website, but I'm not going to just run there to buy this, if that makes sense, because I have other brow products I like as well. But for the price, this one is really good. We made it to the end. Last but not least is from the brand Item Beauty. This is the Lash Shack Snack. Lash Snack, Lash Snack Mascara. And I finished this one up. Not my favorite wand type. However, this mascara worked really well. Even though it's not my favorite wand, I was able to really get in there and build up the mascara and it worked great on my lower lash line. This is Addison Ray's brand. I would buy this mascara again. I actually was pleasantly surprised. Holy moly, that's a lot of empties. I am really proud of myself that I was able to go through this huge overfull basket in one month. I have a big makeup skincare collection so the fact that I can use up this much product makes me really happy. And don't forget, I will link everything down below for you if you're interested. Everything is linked, so it makes for super easy shopping. I'll also put my favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to recreate this look. And don't forget to come on over, follow me on TikTok for a little bit more beauty on a budget. So that's a wrap on my December empties. Yeah.